All right, so some more physics 184 here, uh, mastering physics. This is chapter 29. Uh, let's let's do question number four here. So uh, question number four, it's, it gives us a picture of a proton, and is asking us uh, what is the magnetic field at, at the position of the dot um, over at negative one and negative one, and then wants the answer as a vector. So to do this, we basically need to know the equation. We need to know the bazart bazart. I forgot, forgot the equation's name, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but it's just really B is equal to uh, mu naught um, divided by four pi, and it's multiplied by QV sine of theta divided by R squared. So this R, this is gonna be the distance from here to this dot. And then we know that this is a perfect right triangle, so that's two centimeters. That's two centimeters. And the distance we want, or the angle we want for sine, it's gonna be this angle, okay? So first of all, let's find this angle. This angle is called alpha. So the inverse tangent, right? We can just do alpha is equal to the inverse tangent of 2 over 2 which is just 1 so the inverse tangent of 1 that's just going to be 45 degrees this is a perfect 45 degrees um, triangle so it's going to be 45, 45, 90 um, and then we need to add this additional angle up here which is 9 degrees so 90 plus 45 this is going to be 100 um, and 35 um, degrees that's theta. Um, okay, I don't know. I thought I added that wrong real quick. So, and then mu, mu not that's a constant. Okay, mu is equal to one point two five seven times ten to the what is it? Uh, negative six tesla meter um, over amp. So let's go ahead and plug it all in the equation here. Um, Oh, we forgot to find this distance. So this is, let's just do Pythagorean theorem. This is going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared is equal to c squared. c squared is equal to 4 plus 4, that's 8. So c is equal to the square root of 8. 2.828 centimeters. But let's go ahead and convert this to meters. Don't forget to do that. So we've got 100 centimeters is 1 meter. Um, so we divide what we have by 100, that's a 0 0.028 meters. So now if we plug it in, we got B is equal to 1.257 times 10 to the negative 6 tesla meter amp. Multiply that by the charge Q, which is, um, it's a proton, so that's just, you know, like an electron, but positive. So 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and the velocity it's given to us as 2 e to the 7 meters per second um, let's see what else and we have sine of 40 or not 45 135 degrees And we want to divide it all by um, 4 pi times it by r squared. So that's just going to be 0 0.028 meter squared. So this is going to be meter squared. So this meter squared cancels out with this meter here and this meter right here. And then uh, the coulomb over second, that's an amp. So those cancel. Oh, perfectly. Okay, so we're just left with Tesla's, which is what the unit of a magnetic field is in. So now if I were to type this on the calculator, bear with me for a second. I get... Um, 
let's see on here I don't want you guys to wait for me to type that in but anyways if you punch this on the calculator you should get 2.83 times 10 to a negative 16 Tesla which is exactly what we have up here <laughs>